What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Beat Strategy. I am Pete. I'm a top player in risk global domination. I have a daily release on YouTube. I'm doing weekday streams on Twitch. And if you are interested in getting better at the game of risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. Uh, we're doing another game of Classic Fixed. Uh, settings for the series, doing uh, fixed world domination, classic map, auto setup, 90 second turn, automated, bot, medium. With alliances on, fog, blizzards, portals off, I'm in the starting position, and I'm going to have a problem with purple no matter how we slice it. My board position sucks. I might get South America out of this. Not even great. Yeah, purple sees it too. Allies me immediately. Cool. Let's see how this cookie crumbles in the first position of myself. This is Bird Blintz from Bangladesh in disguise. I'm looking to become a Grandmaster in Classic Fixed yet again. In the second position, the yellow players, Bandit Telsu from USA, plains yellow. In the third position, Orville Shaw, flying the dragon flag of Bhutan is red my bouton buddy in the fourth position is kendall the bear the black player playing uh, from the united states um the green player is fufu also usa flag and finally the purple player is wilbur kaya from my home and native land as Ca of canada playing as purple and let's see who wants to be where i think i have an okay south america start but a not but not a great one uh Black is kind of insisting upon Africa. Yep, we can do that. We can say, hey, Black. How about we don't kill each other? Harry says, Pete, you've opened a huge can of worms. I didn't, I didn't ask about that. Someone else asked me about that. People can speak their mind. So purple is just going to insist on North America. Yeah, try and push me out. Yeah, I respect it. So I'm going to do the same with South America. Oh, he's going to let me move into South America. Interesting. I like that too. Okay, well, I kind of want to consolidate. Yep. Yep. So I will take the South America play this game. Begrudgingly. Giving purple North America. Yuck. Okay. Yeah, people are just arguing about guns. That's fine. You guys can talk about it as long as you're respectful to each other. I'm not able to moderate this chat, but I assume we have some mods handy, just in case anyone says anything too dumb. <laughs> My, uh, w before we went on air here, folks, the, the question that was posed to me, um, I forget what it was, but it was something about guns. And I'm just like, all right, can we at least agree that it, if we were able to uninvent guns, we would. And people are like, no, we can't even agree on that. It's like, well, okay, then I really have nothing to talk about. Right. It was mostly just about, do I own a gun? And then I discussed how I am not a violent person. So I would see absolutely no reason for me to own a gun. Or to have ever really fired one, so. Okay. Please tell me Black does something dumb like trying to contest Australia. I like how red and green are occupying different parts of Europe. So this still has to come to a head. We do figure that yellow is going to take Australia, whereas black will take Africa. Purple will have North America. I'll have South America. So we'll just have to figure out. We'll just have to figure out who has the rest. Thank you. 
I'm gonna throw purple a heart here. Yeah, he's, he throws it back, cool. Purple sees what I'm doing, he's like, all right, Pete's not gonna contest me in NA, cool. Right? He gets a plus five for my plus two. It's not a great deal for Pete. We'll see how it goes. Hoopface says, I'm sorry, I brought it up. Yeah, it's very controversial, huh? Isn't it surprising how many people have so many different opinions to say? Hey, Pete, much love from Bermuda. First time catching the stream after watching many hours of vids on YouTube. What's up, X3IQX? Uh, I'm a few thousand points away from GM and struggling, so I was wondering, because I don't have a premium account, what free game mode is best ranking up. Um, do you care about ranking up or do you care about getting better? Um, it re the answer is it really depends on what you're good at. Um, but you know, gimmicks like caps and zombies are obviously a lot better long-term for ranking up. Once you get to the heights, once you're like a GM high, high to mid GM, you really want a gimmick like, um, Okay. What's he hoping there? What was that thought? Hitting a three for no reason just makes it easier for yellow to take Australia. He's hoping yellow evacuates in a show of goodwill, I think. Yeah, it really does surprise me how many people love guns. Um, I mean, good on you, right? Enjoy, enjoy the murder. Um, all I will say about this is my my sort of passionate belief that humanity has to get past our own propensity to compete um, would center around a notion of stopping the tremendous waste of resources associated with fighting amongst ourselves, associated with building weapons um, that kill us and kill ourselves, right? So obviously we can't uninvent guns. That's a foolish thing to discuss. I was more interested to see the response of if we could actually choose to do that, if we could choose to banish every single gun in the world and make sure that they never reappeared in the blink of an eye, would we choose to do that? And the fact that that isn't universally agreed upon tells me a lot about where we are as humans, right? We still feel the need to defend ourselves from existential threat, but the existential threat comes from ourselves, right? So on some level, we might be unworthy. We might actually just be unworthy. Um, and we might kill ourselves before we evolve to a place where we are. And that's my fear. That's why I sit here and I talk to you guys about unity and about love and about bringing people together. And the idea of building weapons, building a single new weapon to kill a single another person in the world, I find absolutely horrifying. And that's my perspective on that, okay? I mean, what about hunting or sport? Like I would, I would happily sacrifice the ability to hunt with a gun to not have to deal with the risk of a child bringing it to school. I would do that a thousand times over. I don't even think it's close. I think that's an absurd argument. What about self-defense? Well, that's the whole thing, right? You want to talk about education. You want to talk about lifting people out of, po out of poverty. Right? What is the root cause of violence? Why would people need to, to defend themselves at all? Right? We would have to solve a bunch of other things too, right? like poverty, like mental health, like education. The roots of all of this are actually economic. I have been meaning to teach a course on this, but we haven't gone around to it. Don't roll a seven before. Roll, a, roll yeah. He sees it's not 100%. But we got a homie play now with, with purple. Purple's cool. So we'll do the two position South America thing for a while. 
and see how the cookie crumbles. I'm going to find way this game. Feeling good to be a 10 set? Yeah, I think we trade here. Do we militarize Venezuela? Probably. Militarize you roll instead, just because I really don't want to pressurize. Um, yeah, I don't want to pressurize the corridor with purple. Okay, let's get another drink. Not the guns that are the problem, it's the people who need to be fixed. And I feel like the people who've handled guns and seen the effect of them in person to the people discussing the topic of banning them. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. So my original premise isn't being engaged with in that stand in that statement. Like we point conceded, right? A person fires a gun. Point conceded. My my question is more that the existence of this weapon um gives those bad actors undue power. Right? We're enabling them to act badly in a way that we need not do. What are you going to do against a bear or a pack of wolves? Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. We're not in that world anymore. We will, you know what we're going to do to bears and a pack of wolves, Risky Poo? We're going to render them all extinct. We're going to destroy all of their environment until they die. That's what we're going to do. We're going to eat every animal. I'm d I am done with this. I'm done with this conversation. I'm happy to talk to one individual person about this on a one-to-one -one basis and have an, a real meaningful conversation. The, the, the peanut gallery format of the Twitch chat just doesn't work for this at all. I also don't pretend to have all the answers, guys. Right? My, my take is, is, is absolutely um, overly simplistic and reductive. And Pollyanna, because I happen to still b believe and hope that people are good and that we aren't going to kill each other and eat every animal, right? And that we aren't going to be perpetually at war with each other, which we very well could be. And that scares the shit out of me because I want, you know, to make the world slightly better for my existence. I want to leave children to this world who will also get to enjoy the fruits of it and the beauty you know what's my chris what's my favorite chris nolan film guys try to put me in a better mood <laughs> my favorite chris nolan film is the one i will never watch and never have to oh do i hear reginald schmopus boy jeech here so you see how we're, we're asking the questions after I said, I'm done with the conversation. I meant it. I'm done with the conversation. You want to talk to me about this? You put a question in the Q and a. Oh, hello. Hello, Mr. Smopus man. How do you feel about murder? You murder birds, but you don't murder other cats, right? No, I would. And I'd murder you, Pete, if I had the chance. I'd murder you, Pete, if I had the chance. Oh, 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 oh. Well, how you doing, Reg? How you doing, buddy? Having a good day? Mr. Flopompus Man, what's my favorite type of bird? 
Um, no, I like to see. Never thought about that. Good question. What's my favorite bird? Birds are super cool. There's a lot of cool possibilities. A lot of cool possible answers for this. Uh, chicken? <laughs> the, the kind you eat. Nice. Hi, Reg. How are you doing, buddy? I love you. You want to sit again? Come. Come here. Come sit with me. Reginald? You want to see the flumpus? Who wants to see the flum? Show me that beautiful cubby belly. Whoa! Holy shit, Kenneth! That is a very generous donation. Wow, thanks, man. All right, we're focusing on the risk. <laughs> and I appreciate that so much. Thanks, dude. Here's the belly. You get extra, you get extra flummus meat, Kenneth, for that. You get the finest flum. The finest flum Reginald has to offer. Hi. You see that Kenneth donated $100 for your flummix? What a nice guy. What a, what a good guy. Thank you so much, sir. Wow. I love you. Keep the happy vibes. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Lots of misunderstandings there. And there's only love, really. I love you. I hope he gets hostile, but he entertains the question. Great way to end the night. Was I hostile? I'm hostile to my opponents in risk. I was stern. Yeah, yeah. Different. I, I definitely connote the two words very differently. It's important as, like, you got to figure for me, right? Sitting here, it's important part of my job is to, to shut down bad vibes. So, and I don't mean anything to, any, I don't mean any bad vibes to any of you guys. I really want you to know this, how important it is to me, um, that you know that you are very much loved and appreciated, Right. Your, your entertainment time is precious. Your life is precious. I wouldn't just squander it, right? Thank you, Doom Valsal, for the bits. Thank you so much. Reggie right, left the screen. It's only downhill from here. I know. Mm -hmm. Okay. So my game kind of gets sunk if I lose my Asia stack, right? Definitely don't want to lose the Asia stack. Chad says, don't take anything you may hear from Pete to annoy you. Remember that Pete is in fact a zombie, yes. That uh, Kyle and Digi did kill me and I'm dead. No. Looks like Red did bully Green out of Yora. Does he take it? Risk related question. Argos, the floor is yours. In the draft phase, when your intention is to take a card and fortify to your bonus, why do you place four troops in the attacking territory and the rest of the bonus? Because, no, I understand exactly what you're asking because I hate the stupid slider. So, um, long story short, balance blitz makes for 100% outcomes. As we all know, with probability, there is no such thing as 100% outcomes. So, the way balance blitz functions is when large numbers slam into small ones. We risk losing way more troops than would ever make sense. And that's part of the math that gets you those 100% outcomes. So you use the stupid blitz slider to mitigate troop loss, which is a terrible oversight in terms of game mechanics that it still exists. But I don't want to do that. So I just want a 100% roll, which is a 4v1. And then I put the rest where I want them to be. All things being equal. That's why. I hope I explained it well. 
I'll show you this turn. I'm going to take a card using my big stack to understand what I mean. Yeah, I'll show you the difference right now. So right now I'm going to roll using my um, big stack, okay? So I'm going to roll down to, you see the top line, 100% chance. So if I commit one dice, I have a 37% chance. If I commit two dice, I have an 89% chance. And I commit three dice, I have a 100% chance to take. So that means I'm at the highest likelihood to get no additional troop loss on that roll. I'm essentially rigging the dice to minimize troop loss, which is not a strategic component of the game, right? The strategic choice is always to do that, but it adds a clicking dexterity element to the game, particularly if you're on a shorter clock, which I think is bad for the game. So that's my long, long story short about the slider and, uh, hope you're up to speed with that, but, but there's no such thing as bad questions here. Hey, GF Danny Drew is here. How you doing, man? I saw you the other day in that tournament and I said hello, but I uh, I figured you were focusing on the outcome. So, how are you? How you doing? Did you did you win that tournament, by the way? That was the finals, I thought it was. Yeah, did you win? Yeah? Amazing. Thank you for being there. Right on. Right on, right on. I just said hello. I, I don't I don't even pretend to know what I'm watching with Catan. Everyone, if you're uh if you're into Catan, you got the finals and lost on nine. GG. If you're into Catan, this is GM Dandy Drew. He is uh, on an epic trajectory with uh, Catan, YouTube, and Twitch. So I figured there would be a ton of overlap in this uh, in this uh, audience right here. Go give him a follow. Oh, I came to the semis. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. I haven't come across the disconnection yet. I haven't, but it's been bad enough that uh, KPO and Legends are both postponed. Kitty says, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Kitty, I've said it to you before, and I'll say it again. Why don't we find out? Oh, baby! <laughs> You're a dandy watcher. Right on, man. All right, so everyone's still alive in this board. I'm one of the lower bonus havers green and red are still off bonus i'm really trying to just be out of the way do the two position um south america strat uber the dog says pete would you prefer a small audience where you could still interact with them or a large audience with a bunch of influence and money well there there's trade-offs for both yeah, there's trade-offs for both. Um, I I still, Pooba, I still feel like I have a great amount of interaction with you guys. I still feel like, like you know, the regulars in, in Twitch here, I know you guys fairly well, and we have a, you know, we have a good friendship going. Um, the, the, one of the things I get a lot out of in my life and in my personal relationships is knowing someone very deeply and you can't really do that version. And I, and I do mean knowing someone very deeply. If you know, I had, I had to go there. Um, <laughs> it, it's always a dick joke folks. Um, but no, I, now I got, now I got derailed, but you can't really do that virtually. So one of my very favorite things in the world to do is just sit down with a friend one-on-one -on -one have a, a really deep conversation. Um, so that's already lost via this medium. But the other side of the coin is the advantages of having a big media property is like, I don't want to lose my house. So I'm working really, you guys probably can see that I'm working really, really hard to try and be as successful as I can be at this for practical reasons. Um, and I don't feel like, I don't feel much need to apologize for that or be or be made to feel guilty about it. I, I'm so blessed to have had the success that I've had here. Excuse me, sir. And I want to buy as much cat food for the flumpus man as possible, which is what he is meowing about at the moment. Apparently. I don't know. Does that all make sense? Do you, do you like that answer? What do you, what do you think about that? Pooba? We can go back a, li a little bit, you know, 
back and forth is fine with me. What's up, DJ? DJ Tyanemo. Hi, Pete. First time catching the stream. Started playing Risk Online this week, and you're already an expert. What's up, man? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. And thank you, Adam Daniels, for the generous gift subs. Five gifted. Appreciate you, sir. Thank you so much. People are being very generous tonight, so thank you. It does help a lot. Of course, those epic riches from, from Risk Television. <laughs> Uh, hi. Hi, Mr. Schmopus Man. Hi, Mr. Schmopus Man. We're going to relax? We're going to relax and play some Risk, Reggie? What do you say? Let's relax. Let's relax. How's my Malou? Fine. Oh, it's okay. The mic, hey, the mic isn't scary. Good. Good. Love you. What's my drink of choice? I drink rum and Diet Coke mostly. And varieties like Dr. Pepper and diet, um, Jack and diet. My opinion on frozen, frozen blueberries. I'm not a blueberry guy. I think green feels picked on. Yeah, poor green. Poor green. Green's the have not this game. He dies for. I love you, Reginald. I love you. You need to try cracking in ginger beer. Not a big ginger guy. Where do you get the sick hookup for DDP? I don't know. It's not always in the supermarket. Sometimes it's there. Sometimes it isn't. And if Black loses that tiny exterior, he's got to smack either break a bonus or he's got to smack Green for that card. Green's going to sit on five cards, though. Green's going to sit on five cards. Maybe someone takes the shot. Huh. <laughs> Kuba says, it's so weird. Every boss or CEO I've had contact with loves Diet Coke. It sounds like Chad has done the math and knows exactly how to get to the center. Yes. Yes, Mr. Schmopus Man. Yes. The power of the flumpus meat, folks. The raw, unbridled power of the flum is what we are all here for in the stream, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hello, we got some biting. Oh, hi, are you going to bite my finger? Are we getting a little riled? Original. My favorite thing about watching Pete is his ability to communicate without communicating to his opponents, even using world, real world strategies such as brinksmanship. Thanks, man. Yeah, I really do try to, try to signal my, and message. Oh, we got a break. Okay, green broke Europe. <laughs> if I was red, I'd just kill him. I think on this position, if I was red, I'd just kill green. And take the five cards. What do you guys think? Would you guys do the same? If you were red, would you kill green here? Marin says I would too. Okay. You kill green, you die by black next. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. So he would be the shortest stack, but I don't think it would be necessarily the best move. Okay. Would there be a market for Reggie merch? Oh, baby. Yeah, the merch thing, huh? That's another one you guys want to talk about riches and whatnot. Like, I've actually been, been 
cognizant that I should make merch, but part of me is like, well, I don't want to just produce garbage in the world, right? I want to produce things that people will actually enjoy. And he gets a dude trade after all that. He gets a dude trade. Oh no. Poor green man. After five cards. Disappointing. Just have your mama make beautiful art and make merch out of that. Yeah, that'd be cool. She would probably love that, actually. I bet my mom would love to do something. That's great. That's very good. That's actually a really cool idea. Thank you, Kitty. When when I do finally make some merch, I will I will definitely tap my mother to produce something that the people would enjoy. Didn't think didn't think about that, but yeah, great call. Mamba Nader says, Pete, I personally think you can get a shirt like Kyle Send Dudes and you should give it a whirl. That shirt is great. Yeah. Well, he had um, he had some an excellent artist. I love his designs, right? I love the big boy, boy slapper. It's fucking beautiful. Pete Merch would have flumpy shirt. How old is my mom? My mom turns 70 this week. She is 30 years older than me. She has her 70th birthday on Sunday. Don't actually tap my mom because then we have lots of questions. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Weird comment. <laughs> Weird flex, but okay. Kyle, an excellent artist, but you have an excellent free artist. Oh, I don't know. WBB with my mom for her birthday. So my father actually has agreed to go on the podcast. My mother hasn't yet. My mom would be a bit, a bit shy to do that. My dad would have no problem. So I, I, I do plan on having a a podcast with him. And of course I have been planning that for quite some time. So I, I should probably get on it. Um, but see, that says is your dad's birthday, nine months before your birthday. No, my dad's birthday is in January. So that's six months. Is this tracking to be an epic five hour match? Hey, you never know when the cookie crumbles. Sometimes the cookie just crumbles, folks. I think that's a great strategy, Chad. So Chad is saying, I try and get my stack on plus twos if possible, which we don't currently have any access to. But yeah, you might as well get a couple of bonus uh, troops in the long term. Very often the mom's birthday, gentlemen. I don't know what that means. I feel like I'm missing a joke here. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, in the lead, we have... Purple at 107 troops, followed by yellow at 100. Black is at 94, and the old Pateman sitting at 90. Uh, red, who was off bonus for a long time, is at 72. And green, who has been off bonus all game, is at 59 troops. <laughs> oh. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Definitely Coke. Pepsi never did it for me. Too sweet. Like saccharin sweet. When will WBB exist again? I'm looking forward to the next guest. Yes, you. You are the next guest, Chad. We just got to find some time, man. The summer got away from me. Because I'm still trying to cut grass. And it just it takes up a lot of the day. It's been growing a ton, too. We've gotten a lot of rain in Toronto. So it keeps me busy. Bacardi and Diet Wild Cherry Pepsi. Amazing. Yeah, sounds like my drink, dude. 
I love playing Britannia 1v1s. <laughs> Not against you, because you'll be like all all mean and shit. You'll be like, oh, I'm going to kick your ass. Hey, hey, hey. You fucking play that trash all the time. Do you even play Risk? Who, who is this? Who is this kitten? Yeah, much love to you too. <laughs> who even are you? Excuse me. No, excuse yourself. Get out of my face. Played Risk today. Oh, yeah. Did you get the did you get the bot out bug? I had a uh Dr. Pepper yesterday that was Oh, I gotta trade my Joker. I had a Dr. Pepper yesterday that was cream soda or something. Cream soda, Dr. Pepper. It was good. It went poorly. Poorly played risk. Yes, where's Mallory? Was it Alcatraz? <laughs> Fuck. Kitty is the worst settings. I don't understand why you play this dog shit. Dr. Pepper cream soda is too sweet for me. Fair enough. Fair enough. Keeping pace with yellow. Nobody is doing anything in this game, so this game could take a while. My favorite song. Um, I don't really have a favorite song anymore. Why does everyone know my shitty settings? <laughs> because you stream. Because you're famous in the Risk community. Everyone watches you play Risk. That's, that's why. Well, Green got away with a bonus break, but he's not doing much else. It's rare that we see a long stalemate like this, where everyone stays alive and everyone plays well. Okay, purple's gonna knock black out of the pocket, which doesn't really do anything. No, purple's gonna try and expand. All right, to hold 12 territories. Smarter. Smarter. Purple's gonna accrue advantage from that. The stall beat strategy. Hey, sometimes you just got to wait for people to hit each other for you. You only plan on other people to make the first move and playing with random people with possibly everyone being novices. Usually, usually I would have found myself in a better board position. Um, I don't love the South America play. I took it because it was the way the cookie crumbled. But yeah, usually I'm in a more advantageous position so that um, I would be the one like purple, right? A accumulating extra troops. I got a stupid question for you. How do the sets work? Sure. So this is fixed cards. So if you look on the right hand side, the sets are worth uh, four for three infantry, six for three cavalry. Uh, eight for three artillery and then 10 for one of each. You also have uh, the plus two. So if you control the territory, like I control Argentina, you get an additional plus two on the territory you control, but you only get one of those per set. So if you control multiple territories, then what you want to do is you want to have to choose which one. So you would choose that at the, you put the, the one that you want to get the plus two on at the beginning of your trade. Which, so the best you can do for a set and fixed is 12. Pete, do the thing with the drawing tool. What thing, Obidos? What thing? Want to have a thing 
do you mean, sir? Whatever thing might you be suggesting I do with the drawing tool, Mr. Obi? Oh my goodness gracious me. <laughs> oh, nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, progressive works differently. So progressive cards uh, increase based on the number of trades. So the first trade by anyone is worth four, then six, then eight, then 10, then 12, then 15, and up by five, 20, 25, 30, 30 and so on. I play a lot more progressive historically. But fixed is a really interesting sort of mind game, right? Fixed is a lot of psychology, a lot of understanding what people want, figuring out how to give it to them. All right, Mod Master Excellent says, by the way, a change I would love to see in ranked match setup rooms. Have the ready up button before the room. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome to the conversation. I've been talking about this for years. So the way I would, I would design the lobby... For folks who haven't been uh, up to date on my suggestion in this regard, um, I think players should absolutely have perfect information of what's inside that lobby from the outside. That includes the number of bots, that includes all modes and settings, um, and then the act of entering the lobby should be equivalent to the ready, so you can't back out of a lobby once you're in it. You've already risked your rank points, right? Having people bounce in and out to peak in lobbies is a waste of everyone's time and is a tremendous waste of anyone's of everyone's time. Once upon, I, I, once I should probably show you guys my strategy for filling lobbies and it involves firing the lobby with three bots and as people enter, immediately pulling the bots. Um, Pete, I've heard about the one hour mark in your 37th video. You mind extrapolating on that. What does that mean? What's up, Mamba? What's my 37th video? After an hour, you suicide? What? Who, me? Yeah, we're just letting purple expand. <laughs> we're letting purple expand. Purple's having a good time over there. What do you mean, Mamba? What, what is the one hour mark? I'm not sure what you mean. How can someone know if they're, if that you're going to remove the bots? They can't. That's why the fucking lobby is flawed, right? That, the lobby is terribly flawed, right? What I, what I do, this is my suggestion. This is my, Alador, you, you, you're, I, I'm glad you're engaging with this. So what I do is, here's exactly what I do. I fire a world on prog lobby with three bots and me. So people think it's a four out of six game. And I'm, my goal here is to get a six out of six game. The first guy shows in, I pull a bot. Hopefully a second player enters as quickly as possible. I pull a bot. Now it's, now it's a four player game with one bot and two empty slots. Third guy shows up. I pull a bot. Now at some point, someone might back out. If that happens, I'm almost certainly going to go back to the beginning of the process because having your lobby be at the front of the queue also helps get it full. Um, it's incredibly annoying. It's a giant waste of my time. And I wish there was a better way. What do you guys do? I don't remember my 37th video. I could look it up. What's my 37th video? Content. Date. One, two, three, four, five. Twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-nine, thirty, twenty-nine, thirty. Now I lost count. You motherfucker! Which one was number thirty? <sighs> this is annoying. Why don't you just tell me what I'm looking for? Forty-two. 31, 32, 33, 34, um, 35, 36, 37. My 37th video is less than an hour long. 
So that was a giant waste of time. Thank you for wasting my time. Um, I wish I could edit out this, but I'm probably not going to edit this video. Thank you, Adam Daniels, for the five subs. <laughs> Very generous fellow, sir. Thank you so much. Waste of fucking time. Hey, Pete, what happened in your hour, Mark? Nothing happened. It didn't exist. A figment. What's a figment? You see the thing you did on your 69th video? I'm not even checking now. I'm going to do my push-ups. Thanks. We owe Steve some push-ups. We owe CDEX a stretcher. Oh, look. Now CDEX is spending all his channel points because he's already got VIP. If you've been sitting in your seat, folks, you want to move a little bit, move with me. Take care of yourself. What's my 37th waiting on your best behavior? Let's find out. Waiting on your best behavior 37 is... Parlocks. Parlock. Um. Hey Pete, what's up Silver? Enjoyed watching your vids for a while now, decided to take the plunge and start playing. On your birthday for the dice and you're now an expert, gone 12 and 15. Very happy. Thanks for the amazing content you've taught me about this game. Welcome, Silver. I'm glad you're enjoying. Yes, it was one with Parlox. <laughs> Why? No hating on Parlox. I love talking to Parlox, man. He's hilarious. Okay, it looks like a yellow's cocking up to do something. Maybe they pull the 71 out. Do the two position outer guard. What's the karaoke tonight? Is Rasputin. Rasputin by Boney M. I like it. What's up, quarantine? How you doing? Purple's playing very nice and cautious too, not really pushing it. Got a crazy lead on everyone, too. A 50 troop lead now. Okay. 
Really is a patience game tonight, fellas. Pete, were you aware there were two videos away from 1,000 videos? No. No, I'm more than two. I have a couple, couple to go. YouTube videos. I'm currently, today's episode was episode 973. So we got about 25 vids to go. On your YouTube, it says 998. That might just be like non, like unofficial episodes and additional stuff, like promotional stuff, shorts, things like that. Goodness gracious, it's a lot of Peter. I know, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm close to three years in. My first YouTube video, guys, was posted on, I'll tell you, August 26, 2020. We're less than a month away from my three years on YouTube. Yeah, because some of those videos are like shorts and like other sort of non-official episodes. I'm at episode nine. Today's episode, um, Master Mondays on Qing Dynasty is episode 900. And 73. Uh, thank you, Olive. How you doing, Olive? How was your stream, bro? Send over raid. Have a good night, Pete. Thanks, man. How are you? What's up? What's up? Gotta give green respect. Most would have sued earlier. Yeah, he's good. He's got the patience. Chad says, I just eclipsed a thousand views. Can't imagine processing a thousand vids. <laughs> hey nick miller meets sam miller in the chat that's great <laughs> not like it's a common name or anything Hey, what's up, Lucky Joker? In a game with four caps. I've had three caps since the start. Why why haven't you won yet then? Let's get lucky. Fourth cap is on the other side of the map. Oh, no way. Nick Miller says his wife's name is actually Sam Miller. Wow. What a coinky dink. We're really watching the paint dry tonight, folks. Oh no, if we include videos on free Pete, um, I think I have like 200 because I'm doing GeoGuessr on free Pete as well. So I have like 200 more <laughs> already on free Pete. Free Pete is like very productive. Busy, busy, busy. All right, Red has caught up to me in troops. If you could change three things with the game of risk, what would you change? Could it be from tournaments or ranked? What are the three most important things to change at the moment? Um, give us a sandbox mode. Turn off the camera animations. Hire me to consult. You need someone who plays, right? You need someone on a design perspective who actually plays the game. Hire me to consult. <laughs> That's what I would change. SMG should, SMG should pay me to help them make the game better. There, I said it. <laughs> you like that answer, Aaron, or not really? What would sandbox mode be? Sandbox mode would be something like, whoa. Purple said, I will not let you card block me yellow. I will not let you card block me. Okay. Yeah, and yellow says, oh, yeah, I'm a ram dingle. Ram Diggle again. Ram Diggle is what he says. Uh, sandbox mode would be something like 
if you could set your game up perfectly, if you could set the bonus values for the continents, if you could set blizzards, if you could set portal locations, he's going in, baby! You shouldn't have done that! You shouldn't have done that! We see motion, folks. We, sh we see motion finally on round 23. Yellow takes the full Sue into purple. Red is not able to capitalize from this. Okay, he hits me too. Just fuck Pete, I suppose. Oh, he wants to open my stack. Why? Why would he want to open my stack? Red can't do shit. Red's going to chill. Black is locked, but black can move through red. Let's see if black is willing to make a move through red. The game actually just got interesting. I'm not going to kill purple. No chance am I going to kill purple. I would kill yellow before I kill purple. Also, no one's allied with me this game. Purple and I have been cool. Yeah, my idiot was already active. Exactly. I know he wants me to kill purple, but I'm not going to help him. He's a loser. <laughs> he loses the game. Does green take initiative? Does green take Australia here? They do. Purple's thinking about how best to get their revenge. Yellow breaks red now. And black. No. Interesting. And they sure looks juicy. Yeah, I think I might kill purple. I might take the plus five. I might upgrade my position. I'll be down troops for a while, though. Yellow runs for their lives. I think yellow's fucked. Okay, black is a 10 set here. I'll be as weak as green, but I'll be in a better position long term. So my game, I'm going to kill yellow and purple here, but my game's going to hinge on whether, oh, never mind. Black's going to do it. Okay. Black kills yellow. Okay. Yeah, black definitely gives yellow sixth. Yellow deserves sixth for that. What, what happens next? Does black kill purple? I think I kill purple. Yep. Green says good game. And dead. Green survived. Green actually doesn't get last. Green gets like fourth overall. 
Reds is well played. Cool. Doesn't kill purple. Sats gets the four trade for his trouble. Make Africa if black kills purple? I don't think black kills purple. I think black's fine now. Yeah. Unfortunately, I kill purple. Which I don't love right now. But it just seems like the right move. I want to be in North America. Yep, black throws me the thumbs up. Greens is good game. Red likes it. Black likes it. Unfortunately, uh, I think green does not. Um, because green is now... At least trapped in Oz. I'm at 122. I'm not that far behind. I'm still over green. And we are in a four player game. Right, you can hit me if you want to hit me. I, you know what? I won't give him the idea. He'll hit me. And that's fine. He'll hit me. I don't mind losing South America to this. I'd much rather be in a um, plus five than a plus two, right? He says, I never comprehend kills and fixes, never worth it in terms of troops, too scared to lose equity. Well, think about it this way. Everyone has played so passive this game, right? So I want to be in purple's seat because I want to get a plus five. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I totally understand. You can't let me have plus seven. Yeah, yeah. And he's just checking to see if I understood. <laughs> That's fine. Because now black gets a plus five, right? Remember this positioning? So black gets plus two and plus three. Europe gets plus five. Oh, did he break me in North America as well? No. Yeah, that was good. Europe gets plus five. I got plus five. So we're all good. Yep. Black sees that. Agree. I accept. We've now trapped. Yeah, we've now trapped. Green. Good. So we will be top three this game. Bad move for Red to lock a stack here. I don't know about that. Red is the biggest stack. So he guarantees second place. Right? The longer he goes, the stronger he gets. I don't think it's a bad move for Red. I think what green should do in this seat is go like this. That's what green should do before they get locked, right? Black's going to sit there now. And that's one move away from red sitting here and completely locking green. So this is kind of green's last chance to punch out of the Australian pocket before getting locked. Which way do you think he goes? Or does he accept the turtling? He accepts. Okay. Yeah, well, green takes fourth. Black throws the thumbs up. Yeah, black 
definitely knows what he's doing. I don't budge from Kamchatka. All I do is take cards. I don't militarize my front with red or black. Stack and Kamchatka. We slowly choke out green. Black's playing excellent. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. Let's see if red gets it, though. Because now, now it is correct for red to move on to Ukraine. I think blue's a novice. Mean! Don't hurt my feelings! No! How could you? How could you be so mean to me? Who thinks they're playing Prague? <laughs> Fuck you guys. How many hours you got on risk? Thousands. Yeah, red sees it too. Okay, this game is over for green. Green is now locked. Hi. Love you. That green, yep. I know. I'm the shortest stack though. You guys first. I'm not obligated to to make any moves. So I may I killed purple. Remember, you guys have fifty troops on me. <laughs> I'm not obligated to do shit. You guys could kill him, and we'd equalize. Hi, are you ready for grub? Let me play my turn, Reginald, and then we'll go get some grub for the Schmopus man. Yeah, I think uh I think I think green, red and and black are all intermediates minimum. Minimum. I don't think anyone left alive in this game is is a beginner or a novice. You know what time it is, Reginald? You know what time it is? It's time for dinner. Let's go. Let's go for grub. All right, ladies and gentlemen, action-packed game of risk, global domination. Okay, green is ready to fuck up my shit. Let me just make sure he can't kill me. Green did a great job working out of sixth place. Well, I think uh, I think purple made a very key mistake hitting yellow's 10 because yellow was basically cocked his gun. He's like, you're going to hit it. And then he did. He's like, all right, bam. I am sick of sitting here doing nothing. Uh, may I ask why you didn't hit the black stack in Asia earlier? Didn't want the backlash. So leaving the black stack in Asia for me was correct because I'm black's neighbor. So Forcing black to hit cards off of his neighbors, either here or here, doesn't benefit me. Hitting the black stack in Asia tends to benefit the Australia player because it forces the the player in another position to... And I mean, of course, black could still hit into Middle East, but you did see green move down there once to block that. So those are the thoughts, at least. 
And I'm also not trying to engender any bad will from any of my opponents at any point in the game, because I want them to give me second, if, if it's a decision point between me and someone else. No Australia, no win. Sorry, Pete. Ah, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Fair enough. All right, I am creeping back up. Red still has about 50 troops on me. Chauncey says, that feeling when you finish Pete video while well, winding down for bed and open Twitch. I want to watch Pete live. There we are. Welcome. Welcome, Chauncey. How you doing? We're losing too many troops over here. Notorious EMB. Um, used to play Risk with my extended family when I was younger. I want to get them to play next time I visit to see if I can pull one over my uncle, who almost always won. Yeah, welcome in. I love that Risk brings back the nostalgia vibes. Hey, fuck you! Fuck you! If you win this, Pete, I'll resubscribe on YouTube. You do you, my friend. You know, um, Funny about that, guys, one of the things that um, you guys might not know, it's kind of inside baseball for, for YouTube stuff, but having subscribers who don't actually watch your show doesn't actually do anything. So it's not good for your channel. So for you to just be like, I'll resub if, it's like, me, do, you do you, my friend. Whatever. I, nobody's under any obligation to subscribe to me. If you guys enjoy my work, then do so. And if you don't, that's cool too, right? I'm really trying to stay out of trouble. And don't worry, fuck you. I'm trying to win. I still watch. I just unsubscribe. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> don't worry, buddy. I'm trying to win. Don't you? Don't you kid yourself? I love trying to win. I love trying to win games. I will play this game my very best. And sometimes we win. Sometimes we lose. Who do you plan on attacking after green is gone? I plan on keep trying to trying to retain the balance in the three player scenario. Oh, he's letting green out. Okay, red is interested in green trying to shake up the board. And Leche the Milk says, I feel like green is waiting to see. Um who breaks Oz to decide who to suicide into. That's why he's leaving it open. And I agree. That's totally why you would leave it open, right? Whomever hits my bonus gets the brunt. Red is scurred. From what, though? From eating a 150, Sue? That's nothing for Red. Red's the chip leader. I guess he's tied with Black. Uh-huh. We got a question from Adam Daniels. Do you, after seeing your prog strat become the norm, do you find yourself holding back any new strats or disguising your best play in any way? Um, it depends on what my goals are. So think about it this way, Adam. If you were me, right, given what you had, given what I have accomplished in the game of Risk, what is there left to prove? So what would be the point of holding back my thoughts, right? I think... The value proposition of this show is very much me thinking my honest thoughts out and deep botting. Is red botting? 
Oh no. Oh no. Right? Like me thinking my honest thoughts is the value proposition of the show. You want to watch a guy think through these puzzles and try and solve them. So. Yep. He's botting. Okay. Time to defend. Well, let's see where the stack fortifies to. That way. Okay. We have a new puzzle, folks. We have a very large bot. Yeah, black breaks it. Doesn't want it even bigger. Retreats where? To Brazil or North Africa? Kill, what does he do? Oh no, he kills green? What is he doing? He's opening my stack. No, I don't know what he's doing. He's gonna let the bot expand? Green laughs because I offer him an alliance. Yeah, green's kind of in the best position. Okay, I want to try hold North America. Let's see if I can. Okay, bot's going to attack out. Yep. Just don't reach my 17 with a big stack. Give me a little bit of time to stack on Mexico. Fuck. Okay. He's going to hit a little bit of bot. Try and be a homie. Just a little bit, though. He's no fool. Hey, thank you, Andre. Thank you so much. Okay. Green's going to participate? No, Green is not going to participate. <laughs> Woo! Excuse me. Hey, we got Risky Phil here. How you doing, Phil? Phil, we've been playing this game for an hour and 20 minutes, sir. Woo! Spicy, spicy game. The strongest player just bought it. This is round 35.
Black is good. Green is good. You know, I respect my opponents. Bill says, hi, Pete. Right now you are 40 and I am not. It, the, the bell tolls for thee, sir. It comes. It beckons. Yes, he's going to hit a little bot material to, to, to sort of show that he's involved. Cool. Oh, he's going to sit right there. Okay. Okay. Um. That's fine. I mean, I, was, I still have the best generation. I think yeah, uh, Green just lets the bot into Australia with this play. Maybe he wants Europe when the bot gets smacked down? Well, then he's going to have to do the bulk of the smacking. I don't know what his plan was, to be honest. Don't reach my 25. I need to start stacking there. Yeah. All right, I'll start taking a lead from that. I think Green's move there was terrible. Putting himself in the middle of Europe, I don't see it. That makes no sense. It was a terrible play. Black takes Australia from this, right? No. Doesn't want to risk risk the Sioux. Super space Jesus from space. How can you tell when a player is botted? Uh, the first sign is that the um, the the bar along the top goes and goes and goes and stays in draft. The second sign is bot motion is different than player motion, and I'll show you the difference. So let's take a look first of all at how a player moves. So you can see how my arrow goes extends. Um. Now let's watch how a bot moves. The bot's going to spend the first third of his turn in draft for no reason. And then it's going to set, trade the five trade in. Maybe the first quarter. And set. Okay. Now look at how it adds troops. The territory lights up and there's a predictable uh, meter. There's a, a cadence, a rate of time at the speed at which it, he does it. And you see how the arrow pops out? and pops out so there's a very certain speed at which the bot moves and then the final thing once the bot has um once the turn is passed you go in and you see this and it says i'm offline right now that's how you know confirmed the player has bought Okay, black retakes Africa. Yep. He would like me to hit a little more bot. Green take a card. These guys want me to contribute. I'll contribute. Yeah. yeah. Don't let the bot get a higher placement. I'm with you guys. And that was just a show of respect to everyone. Right? We're not going to let the bot get a higher placement. We're going to work together and make sure it dies. And then we're going to fight as, as honorable opponents. I'm at 234. I'm tied up with black, which is perfect, right? Now, perfectly even Steven in terms of troops with black. And green is at a deficit. And green has been at a deficit all game. Uh, 
There's no honor among spotters. Well, let's, yeah, let's just make sure that he doesn't get a higher placement than fourth before we, before we default to war again. <laughs> yeah. Black would like to catch up a bit. I also intentionally backed off my stack so that green can have Europe if he if he wants to smack a bunch of bot. Oh, look, Pete is the new troop leader. Yes, I have taken the lead now. But that's, again, why I love North America so much. Guys were like, when I remember when I killed Purple? I was like, well, you're going so negative in that kill. It's like, yeah, fair enough. But also, my board position then, I get North America for my trouble. So I'd much rather have North America than South America. Bot handling is an important part of the game. Yeah, man. North American 15 territories made all the difference. Yes. Okay, black sets. What does black do? Do they hit large amounts of bot material? Because if they do, I'm going to hit large amounts of bot material. I'm happy to keep my stack mostly equal to black. I don't want them to think I'm being unfair. No, he's just going to hit in Peru. That's cool. Doesn't want me to pull too far ahead. I respect that. Okay. Oh. Yeah, we did some okay smacking. Now we find ourselves... Unwilling to smack more is fine. I'm I'm a patient guy, as we as we well know, folks. I'm a very patient man. This is fixed, yes. Luminato confirmato. Welcome. This is fixed. World Dom on classic. Yep. I feel like Black is a very good player. I've enjoyed how they've played. What happens if you hit reds 16? Um, well, I don't want to take South America because I don't want to scare either of these guys into hitting me. Black's going to hit an 8. No, he's going to hit a 30. Cool. I'll let you, I will let you have... I'll let you have that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. You want it again. Yep. Sounds good. I'll totally let you have that again. No worries. He wants to block off North Africa. Me and Black are cool, man. Me and Black are totally cool. Green's kind of in a pickle. He can't really hit meaningfully. Just got to hit some bomb material. Yeah, starting to be a decent peat lead. 
Starting to be a decent beat lead here. Old Beatman is getting, uh, starting to pull away. Oh, fucking slider. God damn it. I hate the stupid thing so much. Okay. I'm in the lead of 268. Yeah, yeah. Blue or uh, black, I love you too. Yep. Ugh. Bill says Black's at least on the way to GM. You should see how he's played, man. He's played super well. When I when I finally upgraded from South America to North America, he took my South America properly. He asked for it, and I gave it to him. I liked it a lot. I like this guy's play. All right. Red has moved all of its material back into Europe. Green's still keeping him off. Black is going to retake, not guard Mexico, and put the 204 back into North Africa. We're, we're seeing really, really good play from these guys. Yeah, wonderful turn. Wonderful turn. Who gets the bounty? Green goes back to Australia? I'll punch a little bot. I don't care. I'll punch a little bot. Notorious EMB. Do the devs just not update take recommendations from the community? It feels like most of your recommendations would be relatively easy fixes. Um, keep in mind, they are very, very small. So I think they just lack the resources to listen to us. Um, and because none of them really play at any sort of high level, um, they, it takes them a long time to both realize something's a problem and then address it. Mikey New says, Pete, how much different is your strategy and fix when players can all talk freely to each other? Um, more communication is better, I think. More communication is better. How different is it? Very. Because you can ask people for things. You don't have to guess. And, and people can lie to you, too. I'm going to continue to be fair and, and hit more bot than my fair share because I am holding more of the board. I don't necessarily want to go into the three three player end game equal though. I want to be still at a bit of an advantage. Yeah, green backs off. Green would like to catch up a bit now. Uh, dude's trade fucking that. What turn is that for the first dude's trade? Good, good question, Rue. This is round 43. We've got, we've had really good card luck this game. Good point. Yeah. Uh, it's fair. It also makes sense with a small dev team would be even more difficult to do an overhaul. Yeah. Like the, I, I don't know how to get more money in this game. Like I've tried obviously to promote the heck out of risk. Um, and I'm sure I've succeeded in making them a ton of money. So I would like it if they listen to my ideas and our, I, and by, by virtue of my ideas, our ideas. Um, but ultimately, you know, if SMG was willing to hire me as a design consultant, that would be something that I would find very enjoyable because I do play the shit out of this game. Um, a Pice person, 54, why do you only allocate a small percentage of your troops to a battle? Um, we, we discussed this early in the video, and long story short, it's because the dice are broken. So I'm rigging the dice using the slider. Hey, thank you, EDB7777. 
for the prime. Thank you so much. Okay. Green is now staying in draft for a while. Reggie dice not broken. <laughs> the flub is nice. The flume. Okay, now green has bought it. This puts me in a very unfortunate situation. Oh, he's back. Okay. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Glad you're back. Did he just lose 14 on a four? Holy shit. He just lost 14 on a four folks. Uh, that is ridiculous. <laughs> that slider no <laughs> question about slider answered that's the reason <laughs> and that's why the slider is is bullshit yeah i don't know that that green was slidering but uh there you have it right one of the stacks I'll, I'll finish them off if black hits if black hits one of the stacks i finish this sixty two can i afford it probably puts me neutral probably puts me neutral to black Hey, Peter, is there any way green can manage second in this game? Uh, what would you do if you were green to get second? I don't know. I don't honestly know. I think green's in trouble. And green's been on the back foot all game, though, so if he can worm his way out of trouble, I'll be very impressed. He also seems to be having connection issues, so that might not be so good. In fact, if he is having connection issues, I want to mobilize my one one uh, sixteen. So I'm not going to keep my one sixteen locked anymore. I'm going to unlock it, which will put me into a punching position. Do's trade. We see it, folks. All right, I'm at 283, Black's at 230, Green's at 174, and the bot's at 60 troops. Probably going to set on four here. You don't kill Red, not yet, not yet. Red's still breaking Black. Black's still letting me hold and have a, a decent advantage. I kind of want to use this bot now to get a bit stronger before we go into the three player. Arklar says, I think the only way green gets second is being a better home with Pete than black, but that ship has sailed. Yeah. Repeat arrow is knocked. Repeat arrow. If black decides to break me. No, I don't think black messes with me until red's dead. Because if he does, he risks getting fourth. 
and he's also generating the same rate again. So we're both outpacing green. Eat arrow since no guns. Got it. The arrow is knocked as opposed to the gun is cocked. Thank you. I got your joke and it was very funny. Knocked. I'm not an archer. There's no need for me to progress the game more to the point, right? I'm, I'm in a winning position. So when I'm in a winning position, I like to let my opponents hit each other. Yep, okay. Uh... Take some pot shots at the bot, block my stack on purpose. A stretcher. We have some push-ups from Poggers. We can do some push-ups. We can do some stretching. Get out your seat and move a bit, folks. Just move with me. Okay. Green seems to take a while on their turns. I wonder what's going on. Mm. Okay. Want to sit in Europe? Heat stretching is good. Second monitor material. Oh, baby. He's still contemplating where to put the stack. Yeah. This is the classic element of who kills the bot first. Yeah. Hey, man. Doing all right. Is bot break after again? Hang man. What's up, Corbina? Right now, nothing, because I just got home from school. How about you? I've been playing this game of Classic Fix for nearly two hours. Black is a good friend so far. I'd like to see this board black and blue. Maybe. Maybe I have a little bit of a lead on him. Kind of want to keep that. Oh, green's hitting. This will tip the balance. And he loses five. Oh, man, he's losing a ton of troops. He wants me to kill. He wants me to kill the bot. Can I kill the bot here on 45? I'll kill the bot here on 45. I'll be a I'll be a Hiami to the table. Thank 
Okay, we are now in a three-player end game. I didn't get a well played from either of these guys. Scumbag Botter goes up fourth as he should. I don't know if it was a scumbag play. I think he probably just got bored or tired. And he throws me a thumbs up. What the fuck was that messaging? What do you suppose Black's trying to signal here with that play? He wants me to work with him to kill Green. Interesting. We're equal. Green takes Europe. Yeah, that's what I thought Green was going to do. That's exactly what I thought Green was going to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Card block him in Europe. Card block and fixed. <laughs> Three player is very challenging. I agree. Metal Hoovian. Hey, yo, Peteman. I watched a lot of YouTube in the last few days. Got me back into risk. And after a week, I'm an intermediate. So thanks for your help. You're welcome. For some catch you live. So good luck in that end game. Thank you. I'm going to try my best. Well, I mean, we've been playing a long time now, so. We're not going to just quit, that's for sure. When did I start making videos? August 2021. 2020? August 2020. Ooh, ooh, okay. Okay, okay, okay! What's happening here? He's breaking everything! He's going crazy! Okay, what is he doing? Huh? Good game? He's giving it to me? No, he's just wishing good game. So the old Peepman takes Asia, folks. Bet you hold Asia for sure. <laughs> I don't think I hold Asia. Mm -hmm. I respect the Asia break. Where does Black put himself? I don't think I was betrayed by black. Black hasn't hit anything really. And he's hitting a lot of green. So black's not putting up with that shit either. And I like black's play a lot. So me and black are still very, very much equal in this game. 
Yeah. Yeah, man. Now what do you do? We're chasing you. We're both chasing you. Okay. How does green play that? If I was black, I'd put it up green. Well, let's find out. I don't think black wants to quit either. Green takes Oz. Ah, Susan to me. Oh, there's the game, right? GG. We have a loser. Good game. Get second, guys. It's a bummer. That's a bummer. Second's okay. Would have rather at would have rather at first. There's no reason for that. I think and there probably I don't actually know that there was a reason. Like we can debate it, but I don't suppose that the green player actually made a decision there. What did I do that was different lately than black to trigger it? I don't think anything. He's just a loser. Good dice. Yeah, we got okay dice. There you have it. Good game, man. Second after that. Too bad. No, I wasn't going to report him. I was trying to silence him. Definitely not going to report him. He didn't do anything, right? He played properly for most of the game. It was a, it was a misclick. I took his Australia. Lol. That's so dumb. No, but you, you know what? That's 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 valid. Could have been the Australia take, right? Very valid. They want to be done. No, I, I I think I think the take here, I think the takeaway is is the breaking of the Australia. I'll buy that. It did feel like a 50-50 flip, but I I think the th I think the take here was the breaking of the Australia. So there you have it, folks. Watch out for Fufu. He is a loser. His best play if suicide was to hit black and hope you reward him. Couldn't have won in green shoes. Uh, point green was ready to slam into anyone as received by the good game previous turn. I happen to be on the receiving end. Yeah. I just broke in Europe and left Australia. You might have gotten first. Yeah, maybe. You think it's the you think it's the Australia take? That's funny. Slave a sack. Then I, I, I actually think that's the most realistic, um, realistic explanation. I'm sure we rank up from a second here, though, and I'm sure there's a lot of good players. So we're, I'm excited to find that out. Black hat. No, black. Is, black's an expert minimum. Me. Black, red, and green are, were all intermediates minimum. Probably higher. Some of these guys are higher. Purple played okay. Yellow did not play well. Yeah, you're welcome, dude. Good game. You played well. Let's see. Let's see the ranks. Oh, there's a lot of good classic, classic players that aren't Pete viewers. I don't even pretend to be all that good at classic. Let's see. Red was a master. Black was not. Black was a beginner. Great, great play. Fufu is a loser. Um, so yeah. We lose to a beginner, but we defeat one novice, two intermediates, and a master. Let's see what we do rank-wise. So we're at 19,000 change. 20,083 folks. 6k away from that coveted GM spot, and I'm not going to quit till I get it. Ladies, Gentlemen, you want to be friends? Ah, no one's friends with me on this account. No friends allowed. Uh, finishing 71 and 81 now, folks. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative if you are interested in getting better. The Game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. A daily release on YouTube, I'm doing weekday streams on Twitch, and for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.